What's up everybody? Um, I'm making a quick video here on how to go about designing your name, drawing your name in awesome graffiti style letters. In other words, creating a personal, personalized graffiti tag um, based on the letters of your name. So it's cool, I got a pro tip for you. We got a couple and um, to design a, uh, a really cool looking graffiti tag that is so not hard to do. Uh, what is a tag, by the way? A tag is what graffiti artists use. It's, it's, it's a stylized version of their name. And they use it to, uh, to, to say, I was here, to claim territory, or to show off their style. We see them all the time everywhere. Some are quickly done. Some are very much works of art. So um, here's my first, here's my pro tip. Anytime you need graffiti style letters, block letters, bubble letters, um, a real easy thing to do is to write your name in big giant stick letters first, leaving some space. I'm going to leave some spacing between the letters here. So because I'm about to turn these little skinny little stick letters into big fat chunky graffiti letters. And to do that, I'm going to start going around my letter F here, my stick letter F with a shape. I'm just going to draw a shape slowly and carefully around my uh, my f a fully enclosed shape so uh let's see start off with some curves we're thinking pow here style drama so you know you want to um get, make your letters nice and thick have some angles maybe i'll come down like this i'll go like that i'll come back in i'll come out here i'll flare it out here maybe make a bit of a flag there i'm going to curve it back up there and I ended up where I started. So I made a fully enclosed shape around my stick letter F. I'm gonna do the same thing with the R. What's classic graffiti guys style, the old school style is uh, arrows. Definitely arrows. See that a lot. And maybe I'll do another one of those flags things on my R here. Curve that up like that. Um, notice it underlaps my F a little bit there. I was trying to do that on purpose, so it'll wind up more like with more underlapping and overlapping up here, over here. But um, that's another main characteristics of graffiti tags, right? Interlocking, overlapping letters. So you definitely want to be thinking about that. Uh, let's see here, my A. Um, I like this, so I'm going to come in again. This comes down here, what are we doing? This goes here, get rid of this. I'm gonna go like this, we're gonna come like that. So, I got my R and my A here underlapping each other. I'm gonna erase a little bit of this away so you guys can see that. You can probably guess what's gonna happen in a couple minutes here. I'm gonna erase the stick letters to get graffiti style letters. So let's do a little something with the N. Um, why not? And the K. We'll do one more arrow for the K. Arrows are easy, fun. I want to follow the shape of this K. And we'll come out like this and we'll come down. Maybe this will flare out down here a little bit underneath the end. And there it is, right? So now I'm going to take an eraser. And I'm going to erase my stick letters. All right, done. There it is, guys. Oh, I forgot the hole in my A. I'm going to make a tall, skinny hole in my A. A bit of an angle there. That looks great. It's pretty cool. Boom. So that's part one. Part two is where you can really get personal, um, designing the letters inside and out. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys. Bye.